Okay, so look, now let's rephrase what I'm saying. So because this is going to help you in your own mapping. And so you're going to pay a lot of attention to this video. You use it to understand what I'm saying. Now, let's look at this place, for example. This is a structure running. Yes. If you have your compass now, what you guys need to do is, first of all, understand different orientations. This is a structure running this direction. It's quad draining. Yes. It's giving you an indication of mineralization directions. Now, this is another one cutting across it in this direction. Yes. Are you seeing it? So you need to take the strike. Now, you look at this. Another direction. Now, come here. You look at this. Are you seeing these different quad veinings? Yeah. All these fractures? Eh? These are intrusions in the major body of this rock. And if you look at this rock, you can see um, an evidence of, of um, traps, phenocryst crystals, first part phenocryst crystals. This, all this, you can see as if their eye, a kind of. Are you saying it? Yes. So it's an interesting rock huh? yes. to look at. Then here, you can see also another trap here. Hmm? This one is more layered. Hmm? When this is a kind of granitic, this is like metamorphic. You can see ice in the layering. <coughs> also, as a result of high temperature and all that, we are going to call exfoliations. That is, you see the rock scraping out at the surface. That could actually happen here. Then look at here. So are you seeing that this is a major vein? Quartz vein in first part going in that direction. So if you follow it, it's still that same direction. Yes, of course it is. So at this place, why is it actually seen? You are seeing it here because um because this is actually outcropping here. Hmm? So what you guys need to really pay so much attention. Eh? Yeah, pay so much attention to these structures. All these small, small veinings, their directions, the kind of rocks, the intrusions, mm? and, the, and the schist. Are you seeing this? This is an interesting trap. This, this kind of rock is very interesting for some realization. If you see lithium occurring in schist, they occur massively. Hmm? They occur massively because most of the time, this, this allows uh, um, hydraulic fracturing easily than other ones. Huh? You see? You see it? Now, look at this. What is this? This is pegmatite. Yeah? You can see the tourmaline. Yeah? You can see the, the black ones. You can see the mica. You can see the quartz. Hmm? Are you seeing it? Then this is pure. Look at this. This location, you can see this is quartz. Yes. Huh? Yes. yes. Then you can see a cast in this. The schist too. Yes. Are you seeing it? Yes. So you are seeing an interesting all the interesting rock types yes. along this. Now, look at this to tell you what I'm saying. What is this black material you are seeing here? What what is this? <laughs> what yes. is that? You can see these are different metals that have been washed out from these rocks. To tell you that the rocks contain metals. This black you are seeing can be zircon, it can be, it can be. See, see, come and see it here clearly. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Yes. Mm. Are you seeing it? These are different metals. Hmm? You get it? These are, these are different metals that actually watch. That is actually telling you that these rocks contain some metals. Huh? These are just the concentrates. Okay, look at it again. See where you remove that rock. Hmm? Yes. Are you seeing the other ones? The shiny one that looks like pyrites. Yes. You get it? So that's to tell you that the rock, what they are saying, contains some metals eh? and been washed out over some time and that's why you see them here why do you go close to the river when you are mapping 
the river. Why? Because the river exposes a lot of um, rock type within that locality to you. So when you come there, it will help you understand the geology of that particular um, location, the kind of rocks you can actually see. If you look at this, I seen as if um, this color is different. Have you seen? This color is different from what we are seeing before. Yes. Green color. It could be some um, copper can give you such such colors too. Some other green mineral. There are a lot of other green minerals you can actually see along this kind of um, river banks. See here. Along here now. If you sample here, something like here, huh? yes, sir. you will have an idea. Like when you are mapping now, this kind of thing now is where you are supposed to sample. You see this black, you scrape them. Have you seen it? You will scrape them. Huh? When you scrape them, you see what I'm saying? See, there are a lot here. You need to go and get, you see what I'm saying? There are a lot of them here. We need yeah. to actually sample this, scrape them up and sample. It will give us an idea of the metals around this location. Have you seen it? Yes, sir. You see so many of them here. Yes, I do. Yeah, see them here. You see? Yeah. Thanks. Are you saying this is actually different? Huh? What a mica. Look at this. Are you seeing it? Okay. Then look at this sheets too. It's different. Yeah, don't put there. Let's see. Let me tell you, if you are by the river bank, you want to sample, there's what they call active zones. The active part where the water is very, um, is very the, the flow of water is very speed. You don't sample there because you might not really see most of accumulations there. Yeah? So what you do is that you look at where there are kind of traps or um, where there are vents. Now, something like this is very good. If you want to sample soil along the... The sediment now along you, something like this. Banks. You just dig. What you do is you dig mm. something like 0 0.5 down. Yes. Uh, because a lot of accumulation must have been here. And because of these traps, they, it will not allow the metals to move out. You get what I'm saying? Uh, where there are active uh, flow and you want to sample there, you won't get the right thing. So you look at where there are kind of traps, something like this. You know, because of these rocks now, you see the way the rocks are, it will trap a lot of metals within this kind of location. So you can pick your samples along this kind of zone. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay, something like that, you see. So this is the kind of place you can pick your samples. Then, and that's why you can see also a lot of, you can see those black metals that mm. actually seeped out from some of the, you know, some of the rocks. And you see them here. Hmm? Yes. And even sometimes you can pick some metals. Like sometimes I've picked a tantalite, you know, along this kind of regions. Hmm? You look at where there are pebbles, you see? Why do you have pebbles here? That's the question now. Have you seen what I'm saying? Why do you have a lot of pebbles here? There are traps. Yeah. They are actually traps. And now look at it. Now, what can you talk about the pebbles? Because when you look at these pebbles now, there are different sizes and there are different shapes and angular. Are you seeing? There's a, look at this pebble. Are you seeing it? Yes, sir. What can you talk about that pebble? Look at this pebble. Hmm? Hmm? Are you seeing it? Then look at this. Something like this. Yes. Then look at something like this. Why? What can you talk about them? You can talk about transportation. Because if you look at this, it's very smooth. 
you can see very smooth. Uh, Telling you that very, very far locations. You understand? And they are too rounding. So the more they move along the very more, far location, the more the edges are being cut off. You get it? So you can you can tell you about something um, in terms of the one that are within here and one that are actually been transported a lot of this along the been uh, transported to this place yeah. from a very long distance. These ones are here. Yes. You get it? You can see that this one, this pegmatite is here. Eh? But if you can see a lot of other pebbles, like this, like this here, you know, like this here. And it's a very good place. You can see these ones are all trapped along this location. You see? You see? So, you need to pay attention to that, very importantly. If you follow this spot vein, yeah. you find out that along, it continues, but you won't see it there. Because the yeah, because of the water. And if you go up there, you've yes, be able to see, seen you've seen, seen it there. Yeah. Okay, let's see. If you look at, see, are you seeing this now? What you are seeing here, it's layered and foliated. Yes. Eh? Apart from what you are seeing there. What they are seeing there is more granitic. Why what they are seeing here? Metamorphic. And you can see the, the dipping nature of it. So this kind of place now, you can take the dip. You get this is what I'm saying. So when you are mapping, this kind of thing now, as you are here, you are able to take the dip. You can see here. You can see that is deep in this direction. Yes. You'll be able to pick deep from here. Look at this particular location also. So it can give you an information about the formational activities. Hmm? Look at there. It's deep in there. Are you seeing it? Yes. It's deep in here. This particular location. Huh? Yes. It's deep in here. So it's very important. You look at that. Followed before. Huh? You yes. see? It keeps appearing here. See the, the pegmatite yes. vein. You see? It goes here. And look at it here too. Are you seeing it continues at that location? Yes. Are you seeing how it's going? Now, let me show you something again. That's it here. And it becomes bigger here. Yeah? That's it there. Now, look at it. You see? You see, that is a sign there. But here now, are you seeing that it's. Are you seeing? Is becoming big here. Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. Are you seeing the width now? Is over 0 0.5. See? Are you seeing it? Yes. That pegmatite there you saw there. Hmm? Silver point. And now have you seen it? But you saw a tiny vein. Along that outcrop by the river. Have you seen? Now look at this location. Have you seen what I'm saying? Are you seeing now it's bigger now? Hmm? It's bigger. It's about 0 0.5 here. 0 0.5 here. You know? And whenever you are in the bush you see something like this kind of rock with this fenocrist there. Yeah? Yes. You need to pay more attention. Hmm? Okay. I you see some of these pegmatites. You need to pay more attention. See it here. Yes. Huh? You need to pay more attention to that location. Then you now see foliated rocks. And you now start seeing some of the micaceous um, pegmatite or um, uh, tourmaline bearing kind of pegmatite. You need to be very... Think for now you need to... Um, you need to actually pay attention to some of these few details. Then... During other this thing, um, during the mapping activities, you need to start implementing them.